Oh, hi there. I've been reading about uh, some of this laser disc information, and I thought this would make an interesting topic for one of our nightlife shows. So we've got kind of a jam-packed show for you tonight. My name is Kerry Decker, and this is Nightlife. Once again, my name is Kerry Decker, and welcome to another edition of the Nightlife Show, Cablevision's only television program about television. Tonight, we're going to talk about laser discs, and uh, we're away from the piano tonight, which is very unusual, as you know, the regular viewers of the show. We are here um, in kind of, I guess, like the family room or whatever of my home here tonight, because we've got the stereo behind us, because I thought we would start off learning about the um, audio disc, which is a uh, new type of uh, disc which is out for those of you um, who not only have video but a little bit of audio. Now I've got a, one of these, oh, I'd say about a month or two ago, and I've only collected about four or five of these discs so far. But uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the revolutionary thing which will eventually, uh, I don't know if it will replace it, but it will make a heavy dent into the sales of uh, LP records. But it's a very interesting thing. It's a little plastic disc of which, to, through lasers, is, is etched onto this record below a plastic surface uh, information, digital information, uh, about phonograph, uh, I shouldn't say phonograph records, but really uh, about music. Let me see if we can zoom in here a little bit. But uh, I thought these things are really fantastic, and I thought it would be interesting to know a little bit about the history and how a audio laser disc really works. The compact disc, the CD, was invented in 1982. It is completely different from any previous audio reproduction system. Before the CD, all audio devices were analog. They stored, either in the groove of a record or the surface of magnetic tape, a continuous representation of the sound waves, that is vibrations, that travel through the air, sound waves that vibrate between 20 and 20,000 times a second. The technique used in making CD disc samples the sound over 44,000 times a second. Each time the sound is sampled, the frequency, loudness, and so forth of the sounds are stored as binary digital data, the same type of data used by computers. Now we're going to be switching up to Cleveland, Ohio. Mr. Ray Glasser has got a fascinating report on video discs that I think you're really going to enjoy. It's part of the Cleveland Tech Report. Hi there, I'm Ray Glasser with yet another edition of the Cleveland Tech Report. Today we're going to talk about something kind of unique. It's something kind of new on the market as well. This is the Laser Vision Video Disc System. We're going to cover the video disc player itself, what different brands and models are out on the market today, as well as some that have been on the market in years gone by, and what this disc machine looks like. Now, first of all, you may be asking, what is laser vision? What is video disc? Well, as you may or may not know, there are two home video formats out right now. One is video cassette or VCRs for video cassette recorders. The second being the VDPs, the video disc players, which we have sitting right here behind us. The video cassette recorders can record and playback off TV or off a video camera. These video disc players are only for playback. They are not recorders, just players. But the video quality that you can get out of these things is superb. Much better than any videotape that you can rent or buy in the store. This is a video disc. Now we again are using the laser system here. Carrie Decker has already done a show about the CED system, which RCA had out, which of course died quite a while ago. But this here is a laser vision video disc. This is actually made of plastic. It's quite thick. And uh, you actually have two sides to each disc. Side one and side two of a movie, or side three and four, whatever. Uh, these are about 12 inches big, the same size as a regular LP record, a phonograph record. Now these laser type discs, you can actually run your finger along them and feel nothing. They're smooth to the touch, okay? 
And they say that you can spill a drink on these things, you can run your fingernail across them, they will not hurt the disc. Why is that? There's about 54,000 grooves on one side, all the way from the inside out, that contain video information. We're going to look at this machine right here, which was actually the old first Magnavox machine that came out in about 1979. And we awaited these things with bated breath, because we heard about video disc players and all this stuff for years and years, and we waited a long time before they were perfected enough to come out on the market and actually be sold uh, widespread. Now, when video discs first came out, they were sold on an experimental basis in Atlanta, Georgia, back in, I think, the spring of 1979. And about six to 12 months later, they were actually put on the market nationwide. So I'm gonna give you a close-up of all the controls on the machine. Then we're gonna pop a disc in here and show you on TV what uh, the features are, the special effects and all that of this machine. And you can also get a general idea of how good the video quality really is. Let's go down to the corner and take a quick look, see what all these controls are, okay? Here we go. On the far left, we of course have the power on and off button. And then we have still frame, uh, either in forward or reverse, either direction. Over here is slow motion, again in forward or reverse, either uh, direction. And here is our speed of slow motion. We can go from, I think, frame by frame, kind of like in VCRs, up to normal speed without sound. Variable speed slow motion, kind of nice. And here is regular playback. Again, we have an option of reverse or normal. Over here is fast forward. This is, I think, either three or 10 times uh, fast, faster than normal speed. As I said before, we do have stereo on the video disc system. We have uh, audios channel one and two with lights above them to indicate which channels are on at the same time. Over here is something that I kind of uh, liken to beta scan. This is a search mode either reverse or forward. You can uh, zip through this disc real fast, either in the forward motion or in reverse motion without any kind of beta scan type lines and of course without sound. And lastly, we have an index counter, which puts a five digit number on the top of the screen in the left hand corner. If you wanna to get to a certain segment of a story or if you wanna uh, uh, look up a certain frame number of some segment that you might wanna look at or something like that. Open the thing up. They say you should handle a disc just like phonograph records, kind of like this. Don't uh, put your fingers on the disc itself. It doesn't hurt it, but it seems that fingerprints don't do them much good, okay? So here we go. This is a very old disc, by the way. This is Saturday Night Fever. That was one of the first titles out. So here we go. We first turn the power button on, which, which is right over here on the end, and the picture goes black. The disc is now warming up. Over here, you have two lights that have come on for your audio channels, left and right channels. And now here's our picture starts. This is the old DiscoVision logo. Let me give you some sound over here. This intro was actually dumped in about 1981 or so in favor of the new generic LaserVision logo. And now our movie starts. First of all, on the far right is the index counter that I mentioned. Let's put you a number right up here on the screen, five digits, which actually counts each groove in the record. As I said, there are, I think, 54,000 grooves on one side, okay? Now, let's start going over the special effects. Here's your still frame, which gives you a completely beautiful, crystal clear, frozen picture. I wish beta and VHS were this good. We're back in the regular play mode now, and we can also go play in reverse as well. Now, he's walking backwards here. Let's take off our, our uh, thing. He's going backwards, okay? And by the way, you don't have to keep holding these buttons down. You can just depress them once and uh, it will go. We have another thing called fast forward. You push this and you have to keep pushing this one, by the way. It goes, I think, about 10 times or three times faster without audio. When you release it on this particular machine, you got a still frame. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to get regular uh, forward motion, but you don't. So there's our fast forward. So. That's been a quick rundown on the video disc system, the laser system. This has been Ray Glasser with the Cleveland Tech Report from Cleveland, Ohio. We'll be talking to you again real soon. Good night now. This is Kerry Decker thanking you for your time this time. Until next time, we'll see you again next week. Good night now.